We're, we're talking with Gabriel Peters Lazaro and Sangeetka uh, Shrestova, who are holding a workshop on transmedia world building for civic engagement. And something that I'm pretty interested in uh, myself, what's exciting in that, in that world? What's going to happen in your workshop? Well, it should be a pretty great mashup of methodologies, communities, and creativity. Um, you know, the world building work grows out of ways of building shared story worlds. And we're really interested in connecting that kind of creative, imaginative collaboration with educators, activists, researchers, and sort of the, the concerns within their communities. So that's where the idea of civic engagement comes in and that we really, you know, leverage that creativity in ways that will benefit communities and the things that they care about. Yeah, and what we really try to do is um, turn civic engagement a little on its head in the sense that often we focus on identifying problems and talk about how do we change the world to make it a better place. Here we start from the opposite end and we really imagine what a better world would look like. What, what do we imagine the possibilities to be? Um, which is, well, in our experience, it's a really fun exercise and something that's kind of just a breath of fresh air. Um, so we're really inviting people to just have fun with what they are really striving for and imagine what they could achieve together. What, what would you hope that the people in that workshop would be able to, to, to leave and, and, and go do? So there are two ways um, that I would answer that. One is that we really hope they're inspired. Um, that's the imagination piece, that we really hope that they're jazzed to go and do something. The other piece is a very nitty-gritty approach to thinking about social change through any media necessary. So really thinking about what possibilities they have to accomplish the goals and the visions that they came up with during the workshop. So both a very practical piece and a very, let's say, aspirational um, high-level piece. Yeah, just just to talk more about that practical piece, like we really imagine, you know, being able to mobilize a, a multimedia transmedia campaign across various platforms um, of media, social media, face to face interaction, et cetera. So we actually think, you know, people would come away with a, a plan, a transmedia map of how they could really make it happen. What what kind of uh example would you give of something um, ideal or, or close to your ideal that has happened or that you'd like to see happen? The thing that comes to mind very quickly, I'm, I'm not sure, like, I mean, My Pride, My Pakistan is a, a public happening project, right? Like, we I can think so. I think so. We can talk about it in broad brushstrokes. Yeah, broad brushstrokes. I mean, it's not, a, it's not a secret by any means, but it's sort of still incubating. So I don't want to, like, explode, you know, the work of the people we collaborated with. But um, we conducted a workshop in January where a lot of the seeds for what we're planning to do at DML were kind of germinated. And a project that came out of that really is for me, a, an inspirational kind of blueprint for what what could happen here. And it's a very broad, sweeping um, exploration of a nation's identity and really trying to, uh, you know, look at the, the microcosms of a nation, the communities, the people that are inspirational, that engender a sense of pride and collective vision of, of the best of what a country can be through those individuals and the, and the connections that, you know, yeah. are between them. And it's carried out through, you know, traditional journalistic interviews and biographical portraits, television, radio, uh, an online presence with a lot of room for participation and conversation, as well as uh, animation. plans for animation, exactly. And and connections with on the ground community groups in all of the places where these stories are being found, collected, activated. So we really see see that, or at least I personally think of that immediately when you ask that kind of question of, of something that could come out of, of, of this sort of thinking. I mean, that's a very large scale project, but pieces of it, you know, like Sankita said, when we think of transmedia, I think we're very much thinking of by any media and that 
the transmedial is that which lets any media sort of be connected and put into a productive kind of conversation that builds into something something bigger. And that that project is going to be a great example of that when it comes to be. Wonderful. Great. Uh, a large canvas, a great example uh, of uh, an ambitious project. And, and I presume that people who have projects for their neighborhood or their yeah. school will also be inspired. Yeah. So, so the other example of that, um, the, an example on the other end of the spectrum would be a project that we did with the Freedom School here in Los Angeles, which is a, a program that works with um, activists that are mobilizing around various issues, including undocumented immigration and that kind of um, that kind of movement. Um, and we were there. We worked on a very specific in a very specific time frame. The project was done in a week. It involved them working with young people to think through campaigns around what they imagine as a future for Los Angeles and for their city, and then coming up with stories of ways in which the world got to be that way. And then working backwards to develop campaigns that would help them kind of share the word of that and maybe mobilize towards social change. Wonderful. Thank you so much. I'm, I'm sure I'm not the only one who's really looking forward to this. <laughs> yeah, you. we're excited. Yeah, it's great to talk about it. Okay. See you. Bye. Bye. Bye.